Ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking, and tonight we will make the part 16 of the initial proportion with Jarocop system. Okay, I will try today to make an experiment to see if we can explain perhaps some mass transfer of the gyroscope. I know it is very difficult to, to say these words, but uh, I will try anyway to do something in this sense. Okay. In 1974, Eric Lightweight, Professor Lightweight, made a lecture before the children and he showed an experiment where he put a spinning gyro on a tower, small tower, on ice. And his demonstration was to show that when the uh, gyro is spinning and processing, there is no uh, um, uh, centrifugal, centrifugal force, which still exists. And or push as a way, and it stays stable. But then it was debunked by people that say no, but the, the tower, the foot of the tower, uh, enters the ice, so it was no more frictionless. And so uh, it is normal that the gyro doesn't move. Okay. And then there is, there is other students, students, that they make some experiment with the air table. And they put uh, a gyro on the air table, the system with the tower. These marbles are representing the air table and the gyro. And uh, they make a, a video and they were very happy to explain that uh, effectively the mass of the whole system, gyro plus the basis, the basement, the center of mass is there and the movement of the gyro, the rotation of the whole system is around the center of mass. They write it here down. The video shows that the overall center of mass of the gyroscope and stand stay in one place whilst the rest of the assembly presses around it. So they make this drawing where you see the basis, the, the, the stand moving in round pass and the gyroscope in the other round pass and the center is here. Okay, is it true? So I make this gyro here, it is a good gyro, because all the weight is in the rim. But it is not all the weight in the rim. There is a small part of the weight which is in the axle here, the balls. It is very light, but there is some weight, dead weight. Okay, I will explain after a while. So if this is true here, we are okay that as the stand is 87 grams, and the gyro is 87 gram too. The center of rotation of the whole system should be on this mark, the red mark here, on the blue in the center between this center of mass and this center of mass. Okay, we we'll see if it is true. Okay, I will explain you what you will see because everything goes fast and you have to be prepared. So, first I will accelerate the gyro, spin the gyro very fast. And then I will put it on this tower. What will happen at the beginning, nothing happens at all. Well, nothing. It will process and spin, spin and process, but the, the chariots doesn't move at all. It will stay fully stable here. Then after some time, you will see that the gyro will push somehow the chariot. This direction, this direction. Okay, and after some time, when the gyro slow down, you will see also that the the axle will go, the rotation uh, uh, center will be on the red. So as this one. So I explain to you when the the gyro spins very fast. I suppose, but it is my idea that the center of mass of these rims goes not only on the pivot, but perhaps further. It is why it doesn't move at all. Then, when the gyro slows down, the effect is less, then the center of rotation will be exactly on the pivot. And at this moment, as it spins, the centrifugal force of the axle here, which is a dead mass, will push, uh, pull the chariot. And then, when the rotor is going slowly down, then the effect is always less. Then the center of rotation will begin to move this way up to the red mark. 
I know that is very difficult to understand, but I think it is what happened. Perhaps I'm wrong. We will see. Okay, let's go to the experiment. First, I will accelerate the gyro. Very fast. Put it up. You see, nothing happened. Now it slow down, and you will see some. You see some slight movement with the mass. With the mass. Now the center is exactly in the middle. You see, with the mass, 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 with the mass. Now the center is exactly in the middle. And now it's going direction of the red mark. And you see, it inverts and it becomes exactly this system took and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I have to be careful now because the jar will jump out. Oh, okay, it's done. Okay, so I think this experiment is very, very interesting because it shows that at the beginning, the center of mass of the rim of the gyro is probably further than the pivot. After some time, it goes on the pivot, so the centrifugal curve on the axle of the gyro push something like this. And at the end, it goes that way, and that, at the end, it turns on this red point. So these people here are right only when the gyro is spinning slow, or when the mass are not exactly the same. Or a lot of times, they use a very a high-grade gyro with a lot of gimbals and everything all around, which is dead mass, which can perhaps falsify the results. But with a good gyro, with all the weight on the mass, on the rim, and the less as possible uh, mass, dead mass on the axle, you see that at the beginning, no, no movement at all, then with, then against. Okay, I hope this helped, and uh, good night at all!